Hey everyone, you're watching another episode of In Studio. I'm Brian Parika, and today we're joined by Nicholas Panak. How are you? I'm good, how are you? How's life been? Life is awesome. Busy busy year, quite a busy year. Yeah, very. Um, going off of Counterpart, in getting that role, I guess, what was your reaction to it, and what made it special? I mean, you've been acting since you were a kid, like, you grew up as an actor. What about yeah. Counterpart made it so special to you? Um, well, for me, it's always about the writing and the character. Yeah. And... Um, you know, you're always looking for something that's going to challenge you and frighten you. And uh, I read um, the role for Ian, and I just knew I had to have that job. No. Yeah. Now, and speaking of the writing, the dialogue, I, I think, drives the action of the show. And for Ian specifically, as a writer yourself, what about it? Of, about the dialogue and, and about the writing stood out um, for you? It, it just felt, for the world that Justin created, yeah. it felt absolutely genuine. Um, and it didn't feel in any way clunky. You never felt that the, the you know, the, the words didn't suit that character. And no. so it makes it easier for the actor. Awesome. Now, uh, the season's over. So season two is, mm -hmm. you're filming right now. What can you tease, I guess, about kind of how, where we leave things off in season one and kind of how that triangle between Shaw, Howard Alpha, and Emily will, like, I guess, intensify? Can you... Yeah, can I? Cause it, <laughs> a little bit. Um, okay. Well, I so, guess how how would you want that dynamic to continue? I guess. Well, I think well, what happens at the end? Yeah, you, we see Emily and Shaw split, yep. um, and there are shards of emotions left in season two, um, and they kind of do a lot of stuff apart in the next season okay. but then you know they kind of start working together again and you can we see glimpses of their relationship still coming up in their professional life I think that's you know is that, is that yeah. a good, good enough to use that's you're about, okay with that's it that's about all I can say um, now working with that's all I can say that's all I can that was say. perfect that's all I can say yeah that's all I can say um, now working with J.K. Simmons I guess how would you describe that experience so far and how has how's it been a master class yeah I can't describe it any more yeah. than that he is Wonderful. He's uh, very engaging. He's a consummate professional, no. and he's such a wonder to watch. I mean, we had a scene, I think, in in uh, episode seven. I think it was sure, episode six. seven. I don't know. Um, I think it was episode seven or episode four or six. We had a really good um, scene in one of the episodes. Yeah, in yeah, last yeah. No, a few, yeah. Um, where it was just me and him across this table and. You know, with with an actor of I'm that caliber. I think which episode it was. Too. Yeah, no, I, I can't remember. I think it might have been six. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with an actor of that caliber, and you're sitting opposite them, you know, you 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 go, how how do you make it look so easy? Yeah. How do you do that? And I, you know, I can't match that. You know, he's got twenty years on me. You know, he's got twenty years more experience. And uh, but you just go, okay, I'm going to up my game and do yeah. the best that I can possibly do. But he was just, he was just, honestly, it makes it look seamless. He's wonderful, absolutely wonderful to work with. No, as an actor, like. Throughout your career, is he someone you looked up to, or is there a role of his that stood out to you? I only honestly became aware of him when he did Whiplash. Yeah, um, and I think I'd seen him before, but I, you know, and he, oh no, Juno was the first time I'd seen him. Um, and you go, oh yeah, he's good. Yeah. Then Whiplash, and you go, he's fucking awesome. And then working opposite him, you go, okay, this is brilliant. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's so great. I'm a big fan of his. Yeah. Um, when you get a new script for, I mean, you're in production for season two now, when you get a new script for the show, what's your uh, usual reaction? The email pops up yeah. and everything stops. <laughs> I find some time, yeah. read it, and it's just a page turner every single That's time, true. every single time, every single time. And I just get so lost in the story yeah. that sometimes what's good about it is you read it and you forget that you're a part of it. Yeah. Um, and you get to the end and you go, oh my God, this is fantastic. Oh shit, I am a part of this. This is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. No, we touched up on this earlier, but you are a writer yourself, right? You mm -hmm. you write stories, poetry, poetry is my main thing. Yeah, yeah, that's and awesome. I write shorts and now in terms of, do you give your input in terms of the scripts or? Justin is um, fantastic, and the whole of the writing team they are really really good with um, allowing us to have input in our characters. Yeah. Um, so you know we read and we get you know we get the emails and. You know, we read, and if there's you know a few things dialogue-wise or story-wise, yeah. we can send our emails back and send our feedback to them. And That's great. sometimes it will come back uh, your way. Other times, you know, it won't. But it they won't. will always justify why not. Why not? Yeah. But we have a lot of input, which is great. Which is really, really good. It's a, it's a absolute uh, privilege. Yeah. 
Now, speaking of, like, your writing, I heard you were writing a poetry book. Is that... Mm -hmm. Can you share, like, what that looks like? I haven't read your poem, so I want to know. Um, I've been writing poetry now for about the past 20 years. That's so great. And... um, I'm working on a book with uh, an artist. Okay. So we're putting together this conceptual art poetry piece, which should be ready. I mean, it's a kind of a, uh, uh, when we're not putting ourselves under any pressure. Yeah. And it's a bit of a labor of love. So we're taking our time in doing it and doing it really, you know, really well and really properly. So, um, you know, yeah, it That's should be great. out soon. That's great. That's like a good tease. Um, now, as an actor, looking back at some of the roles you've played, is there a character you wish you had more time with? And I guess what's the toughest part of saying goodbye to a role? Um, wow. Or do you just move on? You kind of, you do move on, yeah. but the thing is, because you've spent so much time preparing for it and embodying it, because, you know, one of the processes I go through is, you know, I have a different voice, a different cadence, a different gait in my step, lots of physicality going on, and I find you know, I try and find different ones for all the different characters that I play. No. Um, but you'll be sitting on the um, the tube sometimes, or on a bus, or you'll be walking down the street, and lines will come into your head, and then all of a sudden you go, oh, that's how you say that line. That's how it should have been said. Or, um, you know, you just recite lines will come into your head, and then, you know, the accent will come out. And I remember I was doing a film um, a few years back, and there was six lead characters, and we all, um, um, I only think one of them was American. Okay. And we spent the whole time speaking an American accent. And it took about, must have been about six weeks for me to actually be, be used to my British accent again. That's crazy. And, uh, but that means you got so into. Yeah, you that. do. You do, and you start speaking like, you. it takes you a while to stop speaking like the character. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah. For counterpart, was there a relief that there wasn't an American accent? That no, I enjoy doing accents. Yeah, I do. enjoy doing accents. What other accents yeah. can you do? Um, <laughs> I can do quite a few. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to do any. Yeah, I can us. do quite a few. <laughs> no, not today. Not today. No. That's great. Um, what else, I guess, can you tease about season two? Beyond the love triangle, if you Beyond will. Beyond the love triangle. I think it's going to be... So, Shaw kind of has his own... Um, he goes off on his own little path. Yeah. And we find out a lot more about him. A hell of a lot more okay. about him. Yeah. And um, there's, a su- there's a twist and a surprise coming that I don't think anybody's expecting. Yeah. And I, th- I personally, just from reading the scripts, think it's going to be a, uh, a bigger, better season than the first one. Yeah. That's awesome. No, going off that, I mean, you say surprises, was it... There's stuff that you read that surprised you. Oh, absolutely. The most of it, like what you thought the character would be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but but from all the characters, from all of them, not just from mine. Um, you know, it's like I said, Justin has created such an amazing world that, you know, he gives his actors to play in, and he really allows us to explore it to the fullest. That's so great. And so he teases us with lots of things, and then if we jump on something and it goes in a direction that fits the the story, he'll go with that as well. And you you know, he comes up with even more. Um, than what was on the page, and all the writers in the room, they just, they're just fantastic, and they manage to keep the actors on their toes, yeah. and I think that's a really hard thing to do, especially when you've got your one season down, and we kind of know our characters really, yeah. really well, and we know the premise of the story, and we know, you know, the, the dynamics that this show actually fits in, um, but to then keep adding to that and keeping us surprised uh, is it, wonderful. That's great. I mean, when you finished filming, I guess, season one, what was the biggest burning question you had about where season two would go? Was it about Shaw Alpha and um, Emily? Or? Yeah, it was what was going to happen to Shaw and Emily. Okay. Yeah, that was, the, that was the thing, because I felt that at the end when they split, they were still very much in love. Yeah. You know, I th- and I, don't, and I, don't th- I think that split was one of... Um, it was one of necessity as opposed to one of a want. You know, I don't think he wanted to do that at all. No. That's great. So, uh, yeah. Well, we can't wait to watch watch you return for season two. Thank, Thank you. you for coming in. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you.